Hey everyone, welcome to another product review. Today we're going to check out the Palomino Blackwing pencils. These are pretty expensive pencils compared to other brands like the Mitsubishi, the Art Pencils or the Statler. They are about two to three times more expensive, but are they as good compared to other pencils? So that's what we are trying to find out today. So here with me, there are three types of black wing pencil. This is the original, the one with the black body and the black eraser. The pencil is a bit longer than usual because of this extension here that holds the eraser. It's a gold colored ferro that holds the eraser, the removable eraser. You can just pull this out. So if it gets worn out, you can extend this by pulling it upwards. I also like the gold colored label here. It's very classy. The wood surrounding the graphite core is cedar wood and this is a hexagonal body design. The pencil does feel very nice to hold in hand, but I can say that for other brands of pencils as well. Now one thing I like about this pencil is this part here, because when the pencil gets shorter and shorter, you can still hold the pencil and use it. You don't need to use those pencil extenders to extend the pencil and of course this part, it makes the pencil look more premium compared to other wooden pencils. The normal black wing pencil is supposed to have the softest graphite among the three. And notice that there is no label, no graphite label compared to other pencils. This is 9B, this is 4B, but there is no label on the black wing pencil. This pencil, by the way, they are made in Japan. So this is the softest. This is slightly harder compared to the normal pencil. This is black wing pearl white body and white eraser and the third pencil that i have here this is the black wing 602 this is the harder pencil compared to this two and on the back we have half the pressure twice the speed and this comes with a pink eraser gray body i'll be comparing these pencils with other brands of pencils namely the mitsubishi high uni pencils these are very good and priced really well. I have this Fable Castile Gold Faber pencil, the Nero oil-based charcoal pencil. This is a Derwent Fine Art Graphite pencil. So um, yeah, let's see whether or not they are worth the money. Let's uh, sharpen this first. This is the pencil sharpener that I'm using. This is the Kum or the Kum Long Point Automatic Sharpener. Blackwing, by the way, they also make this exact sharpener. Maybe it's the same sharpener, just labeled under Blackwing. So let's sharpen this. You can tell that the wood is really good because this is in one piece. And this as well, the Blackwing 602. These pencils have been nicely sharpened. Let's put them to the test. Let's test out the pencil. We'll start with the black one. All right, this is quite nice, quite smooth. You can see the pencil, it's starting to get a bit worn out. I, I'm getting thicker lines now. And this pencil, it does feel quite smooth, quite buttery. So I'm just drawing a boat. It does look like this pencil is a 4B pencil to me. It's quite soft. It's really nice for shading. And you can see that it can cover the white of the paper quite well. This is the second layer. Also notice that as I'm coloring, the graphite doesn't break off into those uh, tiny bits, which is great. So this is the normal black wing pencil. Let's write that down. Next, we'll use the black wing pull. This is supposed to be harder compared to the normal black wing pencil. It does feel slightly harder, but the difference is not that extreme and it's still quite smooth on the paper. 
let's use this for some shading the pencil that i used earlier the graphite looks a bit darker compared to this so now as i am shading this i can definitely feel that this graphite is a bit harder the earlier pencil the normal black wing it's softer so this is the black wing pole and lastly we have the black wing 602 this is supposed to have the hardest lead the hardest graphite among the three and it does feel a bit harder But you do really need to have the three to compare side by side in order to uh, tell the difference. I feel that this is harder and because this is harder, it seems that it can get into the green of the paper. You can feel the white of the paper much better compared to the softer pencils. You can see slight difference there. So this is the Blackwing 602. If we compare the three side by side, there is some visual difference. This is definitely softer, this is a bit harder, and this is the hardest pencil. If you want to get a black wing for drawing, like making line drawings, the 602 seems to be a good choice. And this is also good for writing because of the hard graphite if you want something for shading then the normal black wing should be better because you can put down a lot more graphite if you want something in between that would be the black wing pole all right let's compare these pencils to the mitsubishi and the stedler pencils that i have we'll start with the mitsubishi this is just me drawing the same thing again so i'm just going to fast forward to the end i have just finished drawing so let's take a look so this is the Mitsubishi High Uni pencil. This is 4B. I have another 4B here as well. This is the Krita Color Fine Art Graphite. And between the 4B pencils, I really cannot tell the difference between them. In terms of quality, the Mitsubishi High Uni pencil, this is a very high quality pencil as well. And in terms of value for money, I would have to go with the Mitsubishi because the quality is identical to the black wing. The Mitsubishi pencils are also very buttery, very smooth on the paper and you can layer them very nicely as well. So it can, it can be as dark as the Blackwing pencils. And they have grades from HB all the way up to 9B. Anyway, they have a lot of different grades for these pencils. As for the Blackwing, the grades are a bit more limited. This is 2B pencil. This is the Faber Castell Gold Faber pencil. This is 2B and as you can see the lines, they are very hard. And when I'm shading with the pencil, I'm not able to get this sort of value. It's more like a light gray value. And here this is Nero oil based charcoal pencil. This is the hard setting and even for the hard pencil it's still quite soft so i'm able to get these uh, very dark values here the softer nero pencils they are even softer and this is the crater color fine art graphite 4b doesn't look any different compared to the black wing soft and the mitsubishi 4b if you don't want to sharpen your pencils too often you can go for the if you don't want to sharpen your pencils too often, you can go for the harder pencils. See these lines here? They are finer, they are thinner, and they are less textured compared to the softer pencil lines. And now let's do the smudging test and the eraser test. These are the three black wing pencils. This is the Mitsubishi High Uni pencil. There is some smudging. Let's try this not very different compared to the black wing this is the pearl and this is 602 and this is 
Mitsubishi High Uni. Well, so they all smudge, nothing unexpected. And the eraser test to see how well they erase. This is the Pentel soft eraser, high polymer soft eraser. This is Pearl 602 and Mitsubishi High Uni. They all erase quite well, not completely though. So are black wing pencils worth the money? I can definitely say that these are high quality pencils so if you are going to get them no problems with the quality at all but they are also more expensive compared to other brands which also have pretty high quality pencils as well such as the Mitsubishi High Uni pencils this is about half the price of the Blackwing or the Statler Mars or the Mars Lead Holder I mean these pencils they are also quite economical so between these three, personally, I would actually go for the Mitsubishi because it's cheap and good. But another way to look at it is if you're going to be using a pencil a month, if you use up one pencil a month, that's only like $2 a month. So it's still quite worth it, even though the pencil is more expensive. So that's another way of looking at whether the black wing pencils are worth the money. So if you are someone who uses up pencils very quickly, then obviously you are going to have to spend more money to replace the pencils. But if you are someone who doesn't use pencils that much, a pencil can last you for a month. I think it's pretty worthwhile. Anyway, let me know in the comment section whether you like these pencils or not, whether you use them and your experience with them. I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.